guys, it's you Jasmine back with another video. This time I'm at my school in a science fair. This is my project. Can garlic extract and use bacterial enzymes? Which is, can it stop bacterial enzymes? Okay, so which bacteria did you use? Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, did, you, did garlic actually stop the back? First of all, did you check to see if it stopped the growth? Actually, it did. Oh, show me. This is it when fully grown, and this is mine. It has treated nothing with garlic. on it. Yeah, it's treated with my garlic. Oh, okay. Why is the plate yellow? Because the Staphylococcus aureus ate the sugars of the plate, which turned it yellow. Oh, okay, okay. How did you make your garlic extract? Well, I peeled off the skin, put 10 cloves in the blender with half a cup of water, and blended it. So technically, making a garlic smooth. Okay, so... Green. This is the unfiltered and the filtered. It's so clear. Okay. I only have a little bit left. Okay, so that's the growth. Now, what else did you test? I also checked, checked if it could stop the enzymes' activities. All right. So why are you checking enzymes? What is so bad about the enzymes? They could attack your cells and proteins. Okay. And, can make and tissues. Right, so if you have a cut and staff is there, it'll mess up the cut, right? Yeah. Okay, so what did you find? Did it reduce the enzymes? Yes, it Show did. Me. This is a full, this is it 100%, and these are my garlic extracts. Right, so the 100%, that's the control, right? Yeah. That means it was fully grown on. Okay. Ooh, and it reduced it by almost 80 to 85 percent. That's really awesome. Okay, so did you have fun? Yes, I did. I had two judges, and it was fun. Okay. So what do you want to be when you grow up? A biomedical engineer. Okay. So we will see if you're one of the winners. Yes. I'm Micah. And his project is, is my the five second is about the five second rule and testing if it's true or not. From my experiment with that, it depends on which foods you use for the five second rule because different foods have different outcomes in the different grounds that you use. Yeah, so when someone drops food in the ground and they try to pick it up and eat it, would you recommend them within five seconds? I recommend seconds? you don't do it on purpose. If it falls and it's dry, eat it. Yeah, if it's well, wet, then if it's wet, then just throw just it away. Throw it away. Like a piece of candy falls out their mouth and to the ground. Yeah, just throw it away. Okay, so if it's a dry lollipop that just came out the wrapper, if it fell on the ground, they could eat it still. Well, it's still sticky, so I wouldn't recommend. It. Yeah, like sticky, okay. wet, sticky. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm back from the science fair, and I promised you I'll tell you guys the results. So, first. My brother, he got first place in his category, biochemistry. Doing some awesome nanoparticle research. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here, JJ. All right. And also, <laughs> what other award did you receive today? So what awards did you get? More principles list. Let me see. Ah, cool. Awesome, Jaden. Oh, okay. perfect. And I won in my category, first place. Oop. Yay, what was your category? Biochemistry. Yes, in middle school, right? Yes. And what else did you get? First place <laughs> out of the whole school. Ah, awesome. Next off, I'm going to be going, so is Jaden, to the NARCEP Regionals, which is the next level. Last year I did, but I didn't make it to state, unfortunately. But this time I will. Okay, so do you have any tips for those that want to do science projects? Oh, yes. Always present with a loud voice. Get their attention at the beginning by stating something or just asking them a question and have fun. What about picking a project? Oh, yeah. Don't pick. Oh, this is your medal. Yeah, I'm going to the regionals. This means I'm going to regionals. All right. So there are many people in my class, which... It's pretty amazing. Well, you know, I was actually impressed with a lot of the projects that I saw there. I could not believe it was at the level that it was. It's awesome. So there's going to be a lot of competitors going to NARSA. Yes. Right. 
I'm so proud of everybody at school. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Jaden. And I'm also proud of you guys for watching our channel. We almost have 500 subscribers. If you want to tell me what your science project is or want it to be, just comment down below. Bye with my ribbon dance. <laughs> I want this for my ribbon dancing. You want to see, Nai Nai? Okay, you did not. You would lose big time for ribbon dancing. <laughs> and why did you even want to do ribbon dance? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.